Hey guys, it's Ronnie with K&R Metals, coming at you from K&R Studios, sort of. So I wanted to share an idea with you um, concerning just what I consider to be one of the better methods of installing a metal roof, and that would be over phone. However, this is a little bit different. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, attic foil. Attic foil is a woven material, has a thin aluminum barrier, top side and bottom side and what that does is prevent uh, heat penetration as you know aluminum if maybe you don't know aluminum is non-heat conductive you could uh, look at it like this put a piece of pizza in the oven on a piece of aluminum foil 400 degrees you could probably get it out with your hands because you know it's just it, it's non-heat conductive so it cools down very quickly um, attic foil this is actually a picture I want to show you. This was uh, nailed directly to the rafters on the underside of, uh, of a roof. This is on the inside of the house. There's two ways to do attic foil. You can do it on the rafter system or you can do it over the insulation. Now, again, this is just an idea. Um, this is shot from a thermal camera. And as you can see, the area highlighted there is where the foil barrier is. So this is just showing you uh, actually how effective it is at uh, redirecting heat. Now this is a, not necessarily a new product, but it's something we've been using for the metal roofs. It's called the Polar Guard. This is a quarter inch foam with an aluminum barrier. So nothing fancy, nothing too thick. But if you are looking for a way to drastically lower your cooling bill, without you know killing your pocket this can be applied directly over your shingles and the reason that I would recommend doing it that way provided you don't have damage or you don't have some problem under the roof when you apply that over the shingles the shingle actually acts as the vapor barrier now if we remove the shingles we would have to add a vapor barrier than the foam you need a waterproof barrier having put this over you have the barrier between the roof and your metal and that keeps your warranty in play. And you also have the foam, which would go down. You have the quarter inch. There's not a lot of R value to this, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be misleading with that, but if you look at how styrofoam actually works, it's just an insulation barrier. What we're trying to do is keep that thermal transfer from taking place into your attic. So I guess it would be, you know, if I took a thin styrofoam cup and I put ice in it, as I'm sure many of you have, you set it outside on the, on the deck row or something midsummer, and uh, you come back an hour later, you got a lid on it, probably still got some ice in there. That shows you that that insulation, it's, uh, it's just going to keep that heat out. Now that, coupled with the radiant barrier, I've already shown you the footage of the, the thermal cam. Uh, you can also go to atticfoil.com if you'd like to take a look at how that works. That's not a product that I use on my roofs. Uh, however, this material strongly recommend it um, I don't do a lot of videos I'm new at this and I'm not very photogenic so I apologize for that and I'd like to give a shout out to my nephew Ricky Elliott if you don't know Ricky Ricky's the one that gave me the idea to start doing videos he's doing some of his own if you go to Central Piedmont on YouTube you can check him out thanks guys uh, hope you enjoyed it I'll try to put out some better information next time